All right, people, welcome back to Fussell's Arcade. We were planning on uh, working on the Twin Cobra today, but we were going to take it outside, and we're going to do some painting, and it's it's been raining all day, people. <clears throat> so that plan got uh, back burnered. So we're doing something different. <clears throat> so I thought I'd show you something special. Um, this is uh, obviously a... Pac-Man Plus, and uh, this is a uh, blast from the past, people. This is an original factory conversion for a Pac-Man, and uh, so when Pac-Man stopped making money, this is 1982, and uh, you could put the Pac-Man uh, Plus in them. You could also put them in a Ms. Pac-Man, but you actually see some... You get the 1980, 1981, 1982, Bally Midway, blah, blah, blah. And without getting into the whole uh, Namco Bally Midway thing, which is really interesting, but licensed from Namco, LTD, baby. That's just cool that it says that. And uh, boy, I get up closer and you can see how dusty my marquee is. That's a little embarrassing. Sorry about that. Let's brush that bad boy off. So, but uh, yeah, this is a uh, cabaret machine. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, I've done a little work on it. But uh, it's an original. It's got the original vinyl on it. It's got the original action. Uh, the little bubble on the back which you see on some of these, and that's uh, for the monitor neck. The monitor is a original Electra Home G07 FBO Frank Bravo Oscar. And we're gonna fire it up here. Lights right up. It actually uses little incandescent bulbs behind the marquee. It doesn't have a uh, fluorescent. It's uh, incandescent little bulbs go across there, just uh, the way they did it. And uh, you can see, it comes right on and looks real sharp. And there it is. So um, what you did is you ordered this conversion and they sent you a uh, kind of a daughter board, something kind of like what Ms. Pac-Man has, kind of goes on the same way as a Ms. Pac-Man board, but the uh, they encased it in epoxy so you couldn't uh, get into it and uh, reverse engineer it and steal it. So this has that in there, the original epoxy board. Um, different set of uh, ROMs, game ROMs, and a, and a color ROM they gave you. So you bought all that, you plugged it in your original Pac-Man board, you changed your marquee out, and boom, you had yourself a Pac-Man Plus. Um, you know, and you don't see very many of these anymore because, you know, people get these and it's like, oh, I got to turn it back to a Pac-Man. I could turn this thing back to a Pac-Man in five minutes, people. Okay. I got a Pac-Man. You know, Pac-Man Plus needs a place to live too. And uh, so this is it. Um, super premium. And uh, just a real uh, good example. So I wanted to share it with you. If you haven't seen one before, um, they're just cool, you know. Um, this is actually in my bedroom. So it's a uh, smaller than the original uh, big full-size refrigerator-sized uh, arcade machine. Um, but uh, it's still big enough for a full-grown guy to stand up and play it. Uh, so, there it is. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, since our weather uh, behaves itself, we'll uh, be back in the Twin Cobra action. So, this is just a little tide me over. A little tide me over. Live action. See this right here? You know what that's from? Let me give you one guess. Wow! wasn't Lewis. It was one of Lewis's counterparts jumped up there. Clawed my Pac-Man Plus. I'm not sure if we have that cat anymore.
don't know. So yeah, pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. We'll see you later.